Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your monthly readings and we're doing them for October and this is for Virgo. Virgo, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel for all your generous donations, likes, readings, whatever it is you do for me and your subscribes. If the readings resonate with you, that's absolutely wonderful. If they don't and you've got the wrong reader or the wrong reading, so just move on. Um, I am using the Cosmic Tarot, which is a fairly new one for me. I've used it today and then I didn't have it before. <laughs> so it's brand new. Okay, I've loved it for a long time, but I finally got hold of it. Okie dokie. Virgo, you have the star coming out. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. And actually, I think in the Aquarius reading, it did talk about an earth sign. So if you want, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, you might want to cross watch that one. Um, the star is the card that talks about um, healing. Um, it also talks about bringing in your wishes, bringing in the things that are right for you here, bringing in balance. It's about trust and faith. Um, I do have the Seven of Wands here. So that's a complete turnaround for that card, which is quite interesting. And the Seven of Swords behind that. Now, to me, that looks like you've had some sort of... Ah, okay. Because you've opened yourself up here and you've stopped fighting against the world, you are now bringing in what you've wanted all along. Very interesting. So it's like you've had your boundaries up too high and you've been fighting for something that you actually wanted here they're completely different energies it's like you have been sort of fighting against exactly what you wanted you know what sometimes we you know have someone around us that you know we never we don't see as anybody that we would want to be with for whatever reason um and I feel like for some of you here, that person has now either dropped their guard or been truthful with you about how they feel. And it's like things have turned around completely. Look, there's the truth. Okay, so for some of you here, it's like what you wanted was right under your nose, but you were so busy fighting against things that you didn't see it. That's a little bit beautiful in itself. Okay, Virgo, let's get going. Three of cups here. So it could be possible that there was a third party involved in this realisation of yours. Um, but it can also mean that this is about celebration. It can be about reunion, um, like family reunion, that type of thing. So it could be a family situation here. Nine of Swords, something that's had you all up in your head, though. I'll get the story. And we have the sun. Very beautiful. OK, so we have absolute joy and happiness now. Uh, and look, Ten of Cups, after being stuck in your head, I feel like there's a strange feeling here that you have either been, you've, uh, you've either been in love with someone that was already in a relationship and nobody ever said anything, or you've just realised that you're in love with someone that's in some, some other relationship here very strong feeling from the beginning could be talking about a leo sag or aries here um but more likely this is about some sort of communication that's come from the other party and maybe they feel the same way about you because there's a truth being spoken here yep king of wands coming out here so definitely a fire sign involved here okay so we have you walking away from emotional unfulfillment looking for this extra two of cups here so you're going from the eight to the ten here and bringing in sunshine after a period of anxiety so maybe now that the thoughts and feelings are out there in the universe you're freaking out about it here okay could be dealing with no that would be you that's your energy okay the person you're dealing with is a fire sign here, quite possibly a Leo, but it could be an Aries or, or someone, of another sign, but there's a very strong fire energy here. I feel like you've been in love with this person for a long while. Um, if you haven't, then it's the realisation that you're in love with someone that's either been in another relationship or is taken at the moment. 
But I feel like this person may have communicated to you that they felt the same way and that's thrown you into some sort of dilemma here where you could have felt a little bit sort of out of your depth. But now you are moving towards having what you want here. King of Pentacles here too. So there's definitely other parties involved. I've got a lot of people in this reading. Okay, and then the Ten of Wands. So some sort of cycle has to be has to be finished. I have to put more cards on this because it's intriguing, Virgo. We have the Star and the Seven of Wands. And it's sort of like, to me, this is the feeling that something is right at your fingertips. Something that you want, something that you really love, something that is your dream come true. But you've been fighting it the whole time. And the only reason I can feel that you're fighting it is because the very person you want is in something else that you could they couldn't free themselves up from. So you've never expressed yourself to them. You've never told them how you felt and you are in love with them. And I feel like here that person has now either disclosed that they too are in love with you or you've gone forward and told this person how you're feeling because you've gone from the eight to the ten of cups. Now, there may have initially been a lot of anxiety in this situation um, because you're freaking out quite frankly here but then I see all these people and I think were you both in a relationship were you both in a situation where you were tied up and unable to move forward because all of a sudden now there's movement here there's a lot of movement so it's like people have disclosed their feelings opened up and now things are changing drastically and someone's being asked to put down this burden, relieve, end this cycle. Okay. Yeah, there's a brand new start here with the fool and the world. There's the end of the cycle. Okay, I don't need to know anymore. Someone's ending out relationships here. There's a realisation that someone is in love with someone who's already attached. So there's this feeling here that cycles have to end to bring in a new start. So we have the Ten of Wands, the Fool and the World. So something is about to take place here to move things forward. Something that is destined um, destined for two people to be together that are either both in another situation or one of them is. But someone has great love for someone here and I feel like it's reciprocated love or requited love. So let's see what you are. Oh, okay. So Virgo, we have the card of blessed coming out for you here. So that is card 22. The Oracle message says, there are moments in life when out of the blue it seems that everything has been orchestrated by divine intervention. You feel blessed in ways that are different difficult to express it's as if the red sea put, put parts in front of you and events come together to banish your troubles easily and naturally you know deep down you did not deserve any of it and yet here you are this is one of those times let awe and gratitude for all your blessings guide you right now that's what i said it's something that's destined for you you just have to go with the flow <laughs> thanks virgo